Hey everybody, Eric here on Wednesday, May 25th. That means it's time for comic books. Even though you're not going to see this until Thursday, the 26th, at the earliest, because it's 6.30 at night, I just got home, and I don't feel like posting this tonight. Uh, it just seems silly to post it so late, so it'll go up at noon on Thursday, since I don't have any uh, My Favorite Horror With episodes to go up. But anyway, that's all neither here nor there. You'll watch it when you watch it. Let's jump in and see what came in this week for me, and there's some uh, other stuff. But let's start with Stillwater, issue 13 from Image Comics, written by Chip Zdarsky. Such a great series um, that I really I can't tell you too much about it because I would give it away unless you've read the first issue. But there's a there's a, a big thing. The, the first issue tells you what, uh, well, sets things up. All sorts of craziness. Great, great book. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. The last book you'll ever read, number eight, from Vault Comics, written by Cullen Bunn. And I believe he said in his newsletter that this is the last issue. And it is. So there you go. Um, this was a really interesting book about a author on a book tour for a book she wrote that seems to make people crazy. But there's a lot more to it than that. Again, really good stuff. Be interesting to see how it ends. Task Force Z, issue 8, from DC Comics. The last time I looked at the previews, it said this was only going to be 12 issues. So, we're two-thirds of the way there. And, uh... <laughs> You know what's crazy? I still haven't even read the second issue. But, might as well finish it off. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't Like, if I'd read the first issue and it was horrible, I would have just canceled the whole thing. But, it wasn't that bad. And it's Red Hood. I love Red Hood. Anyway, let's move on to DC vs. Vampires Hunters. See right there? Right there? It's a little one-shot from DC Comics. Uh... Part of their 12-issue DC vs. Vampire series, which is a fantastic series. Uh, but they're doing this one-shot, Hunters. And then, I think next month is Killers. There might be another one-shot, and then they're doing a little uh, tie-in mini-series that's in black and white. That should be really cool. But this has been a great series so far. It should be interesting to see what they do with these one-shots. Moon Knight, issue 11 from Marvel Comics. Uh, I dig this cover. I liked the series. I know, man, people are torn on that thing. Some people, not fans, but I enjoyed it. And I'm enjoying this series as well. Then we have Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 3 from IDW. And this is another uh, another one written by Cullen Bunn. This is, uh, I don't know how many issues, four, five, six. But it's Godzilla, and it's Cullen Bunn. You know I'm in. And then for regular floppies, as they say, this is technically, if we cover that up, this is Batman Beyond the White Knight by Sean Murphy. It's a black label book from D.C., it is the third official Batman White Knight book. There was a Harley Quinn one that took place in the same universe. That might be like a 2.5 or something. But And then just because Batgirl's featured on the cover and probably featured in the issue, they put her name on here. But it's technically that's not part of the actual title of the book. But, man... I love these things. This is some of my favorite Batman stuff. Alternate world Batman. Then we have trade paperback. Black Widow. Die by the Blade. This is volume three of the Kelly Thompson series. And it has, where is it? 11 through 15. Issues 11 through 15 in here. Just a slim little volume. I'm a big fan of Kelly Thompson. She does great stuff. 
Uh, and then I got some things that I picked up during the. Ooh, you know what? That was making things rock. <laughs> picked up during the um, live show last night. I have to tape these bags closed. Uh, so one of the things I got was this Green Arrow mini series, all four issues. Um, allegedly, this is Green Arrow's first solo title. I can't say for sure, but I'm a Green Arrow fan. I don't believe I've read these, so I grabbed them. And then, all right, see, I'm taking the, all the stickers off of these things. This is not in great shape, but that's not what I got it for. This is Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, number one. I used to love this book, had this whole series. I wish they'd put it out in a collection, because uh, this was a great, great book. And again, just figured I'd grab it. And finally, six issues <laughs> in, wait, oh, there it is. I was going to say, why? These are in some weird order. Watch me put things in order. Um, so I don't know if this is a six-issue mini, or this is just the first six issues of the series. But anyway, this is Aerosmith, which came out from... Who published this? I do not see. A Wildstorm. Uh, so that's, I think, it's part of Image. Kurt Busiek is the writer. Uh, he's a great writer, and this is sort of a World War I with dragons kind of thing. I don't know. I've heard it's really good. Figured I'd grab it. There's two bucks an issue. And then, finally, previews came out. But the DC and the Marvel previews did not come out this week. But the big giant... Previews did. There you go. So that's it. That's all I've got. Um, and I don't know. It's been a long day. I'm tired. So you know what? No question for you this week. But if you have any comments or questions, even corrections, put them in the comments below. And please like, share, and subscribe. All that YouTube stuff. If you care to follow me on other social media. My Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is EricSmith5757. That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. That's all I've got for you this week. Until next week, read more comic books.